sort of creates this feel that we're not quite ready to go <laughs> no, yet. Check this guy you know out. What I mean? what, the dog, you mean? Yeah. I have no interest in your dog. It's not my dog. I have no interest in, in your dog you're showing me. It's, Hello. It's a friend's. Welcome to Finch and Tom's Untitled Smite Talk Show. Happy to have you here one more time. Again, we're here Saturdays around 2 p.m. is the plan, so thanks for joining us again. I will be posting the video up afterwards on my own YouTube channel. Finch, there's a code in my channel if you want to grab it. Exclamation point YouTube and see what's going on. Tom, you feeling right this morning? Always. You're in your, uh, you're in your had a good night outfit. Saturday, <laughs> Saturday mornings are my favorite time. Did we make a mistake of making it Saturday mornings? Is that a miscalculation? Well, I figured... The answer is yes. <laughs> Saturday mornings are my favorite time. I feel like Hazer every minute of it. Oh man, yeah. just just a rough, just rough, just just yeah. like would be anyone else. <laughs> like, just you like could. waking up and be like, oh, <laughs> every day. Rough life out there. Hazer actually in your chat, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Same. Same. Uh, I went up there, Hazer. But uh, thanks everybody for hanging out again. One more time, we're going to try and go through some of the popular stuff. We got um, some of your comments from like F Dot's Twitter posts as well. We'll definitely be going through some of those. Um, one thing I saw that I feel like we should probably address right away sure. is season five E United right now better than like Epsilon Energy of season <laughs> three. No. What do you mean? No. What do you? They're dominant. Bro. Who in NA is even breathing on them right now? Uh, Who's even touching them right now? Sure, you're right. But that's just because NA looks decrepit right now. I mean, Splice is kind of doing it, but Space Station Gaming is like Space Station waning. Ooh, that was good. Europe, <laughs> on the other hand, though, I think that Energy and United are are, are on equal footing. I, I think that Damon's Haas is up there as long as they don't shit them in at land like usual, <laughs> right? Uh, I think that there's people that can fight. Whereas Epsilon, <laughs> Epsilon Season 2, I don't think y'all remember the ridiculous nature. I remember Reddit posts at the, at the like, two-thirds of the way through Season 2, like, after they had won their first championship and on their way to their second, and people were like, should we, is high res making a mistake by not banning the team? Right. Like, are, is, is Energy or Epsilon ruining the game because they're that fucking good? Like, that's how good they were that the Reddit nerds were complaining about. The fact that they were too good for the Pro League. Right, and I understand that, but you have to, it's sort of like how people are saying the NBA might not be as good as it used to be, right? You have to compare E United to who they're playing against. That's the only way we can compare them to that Epsilon squad. And who they play against, they're kind of smacking them around right now. It's not very close. I mean... I don't think that Space Station are a legit threat to them. I don't think no. Splice are either. No, nobody in North e America United, is. I think, are just, they're free over there, for sure. In North America, sure. But what if, I mean, they, they could probably beat Mouse. Obey even would be close, I imagine. Yeah, but like energy, like well, I mean, what, what, I'm probably not any of those teams. You you think e United? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. I, you need to reverse because there's no way you're making the statement that you're making. No, I would probably what, take no, you rival need to remake this energy statement. dignitas over e United. All three of them. Yes. Yes. That's yes. All That's all I'm saying. Okay, so we're on the same page. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, yeah. no possible way. Even though Paul and Mike and everybody are dominating, there's no possible way that they're better. So actually, I'm trying to make the case for it because a friend of mine who's an idiot <coughs> said it, but he's very wrong. Well, here, here's actually here, here's something interesting. So it's like the Michael LeBron conversation. There's two what ways. What up, the hound? How you doing? There's buddy? two ways of looking at it, where you're either saying this the like if I were to play in a simulator right now, like in Madden or some shit, and I had the 2018 E Uniteds. And the 2015 16 energies, right? Who would win? Who's better? It is also fair to consider we're probably just better at Smite now. And, that's the, and, fair and, to say. and that's the second conversation is, is, or is it how big of the gap between the number one team, Eon on Energy, how big is the gap between, you know what I'm saying? Right. There's like two different ways of looking at it, and like uh, in a vacuum and, and in context. <laughs> and I think both they wind up being Epsilon Energy. Yes, Sorry. they were insanely good. I think that people are. are Perhaps not remembering how good they were. They were very good. Yeah, so yeah. opening up with a with a ludicrous question, I believe. Oh, oh did he really ask that? Uh, an exceptional I'm so, ex I'm so oh, excited I'm thinking that of Ludacris watches the show. Thank oh, you so yeah, much, Luda. Chris Bridges. We really appreciate you. <laughs> Is that you. his real name? Yeah. My favorite thing about, actually, that's one of my favorite Sean things. I know Sean Combs. I don't think I know very many people's no, names. No, Sean Puffy Combs. It's P. Diddy. Right? Uh, it's Puff Daddy. Puff Daddy. Yeah, I know his, his real name. Well, he, uh, my joke was that he had many aliases. Don't you remember when you changed the name like every other yeah. day? Yeah, I, I was. What's your original point? My original point was when you come to Atlanta, 
Um, <laughs> there, there's signs in the airport that says like security here and bag check there, and it's ludicrous. And he goes, he's like, and on the sign he's holding. Wait, he Luda's like, on the sign? Yes. That's no, funny. Luda is the sign holding <laughs> one. And That's he's just true. like, That's not true. I have pictures of it on my cell phone. It's totally They let true. you take pictures at the airport this time? Yeah, no. Yeah, they allowed that to happen. Going well, out. Well, <laughs> well I mean, we, we talked about how EU probably, United. How do you hold a phone? You've been struggling all day. United probably aren't better than the top three European no. teams right now. Right? I think do you th I think they can contend. Yes, but I don't, I don't, I think that I would probably not bet on them in either of those matches, but I think they'd be close. Is, is that fair to say? Uh, either of those matches implying just energy and dig? Um, energy dig rival. I would bet on them versus Rival. Really? So it's just Dig Energy you think are above United right now? So I don't Rival, know. Rival are struggling a bit. That's fair to say. Maybe we'll hold this conversation for what we talk about, like, SPL as a whole. Sure, sure, But sure. Rival's very interesting because they have been... I feel like if I didn't watch their last set, I would have won 100,000 million percent. Took United. Took United. Yeah. But their last set, they look good, but it's it's, it's how they look good that, that I liked. And... Uh, Fuck everybody out there that said I got too excited. <laughs> no, I mean, you're definitely right to see them you know, doing well. Cyclone Spin, what's up, man? Splice is just a worse version of Mouse Feels Bad Man. Uh, I guess that is so, a little right. They both have, like, absurdly aggressive supports. Well, they used to. Dardis is now the hunter. Maybe not anymore. I, 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 they, play, we, they play their own unique meta that not everyone else plays. Splice, and I get the joke, but I think Splice is the refined version of, of, of Mouse. I do. Where, I think Splice is better than Mouse. Where, like, sure, not only do I think they're better than Mouse, but I think that they're, like I said, the, the more refined. If Spl I wouldn't be surprised if you showed me one of those weird-ass Mouse drafts, not the Hunter supports, but literally everything else, right. and told me it was, it was a Roar in the Splice place, right. I'd go, yeah, sure, and they probably won with it, right? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I wouldn't be really surprised there. So I, I, uh, I, I that's funny. I get it. Sure. Well, I mean, since we're talking about that comparison... Do I can't you, find this picture of Ludacris. I'm so. okay with that. Do you think there are any kind of differences you're seeing between the NAEU meta right now? I feel like Pele is being valued a little bit differently, I would say, in between the two. Um, Sobek's everywhere uh, in all the metas. It doesn't seem to matter where, where you are. He's just insanely good. Well, hey, what if we increase the, tool, the, the tail whip cooldown by two seconds? Well, then he couldn't do it as often. That's, that's, that would slow him down. That would make it so he can tail whip less often. Mathematically, that's true. Unless, of course, that those two seconds were irrelevant anyway. You know what I mean? Like, if he was already 20 seconds between engagements anyway, yeah. for whatever reason. I mean, I don't know how true that is. I don't have stats on that. I feel like you're doing a bit. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I'm kind of bullshitting here, but at the end sure. of the day, where the hell do you hit Sobek? And if you say damage, then it's like, you can't really. Sustain, you know probably. Yeah, you think it's the sickening strike heal? Or, or just like a mana region, either one, some of each. Is that it? That's the picture. Is that? Oh, how do we put that it? live? Yeah. How, do we do, how do we do that? Can we, is that a it. thing we can do? No? Uh, 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 they need to know. Oh, it is? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's what that's we're talking it. about. See? There's yeah. Ludacris. <laughs> that's a weird one. I the told hell? you I wasn't lying. It is a cardboard. So did he get paid for that, you think? I mean. How, what do you write on the byline? <laughs> well, I, he's a charitable fellow. Ah. <laughs> 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 there, there was a story about him behind somebody at the grocery store, and he like, she, it was, it was a, it was a detailed story actually. It was a woman that was going through poor times, and her friends gave her Whole Foods gift cards, mm -hmm. and everything there is like mad expensive, and her right. gift cards didn't match the total, and she was like bugging out, and Luda was just like, "What? I got Yo, this. Hindus in chat. And, what the hell? And well, then she, who's being the savage guy? If Hindus here? Oh, I don't know. We have to be savage. Oh, but any, yeah. anyway, 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 sure, sure, sure. she didn't know he was ludicrous. Right. And she was like, oh my God, what's your name? And he was like, Chris, have a wonderful day. Right. And like, obviously, Tabloids caught it and like wrote all about it. But like, maybe he just donated his likeness to the airport. You know? You want to do some Hindu Man jokes? Since oh, I. Or I. <laughs> actually, can, 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 I mean, you're like a theatrical. Can you actually do a, an extraction? Not very well. Oh. No. I can, I, I can do a bad one. If I you, always I try, and I always try to wind up sounding like some like Australian cover. Yeah. Or I mean, Hindi's in the shop. You know, you know. That doesn't even sound like you're making an accent. It just sounds like you speaking American. I wasn't. <laughs> I don't hear an accent. All right, you know, it's up to you. 
it's, I mean, I just don't hear an accent. <laughs> but, I mean, <laughs> I'm trying to drive us back to back to what, what we're talking about. I was asking if you felt like there were any significant differences you saw between EU and NA right now. Besides the accent. Right, besides the fact that, you know, EU gave us Hindu man and who wants that? Yeah. Um, well, I think we also get zeros is what the beast. <laughs> I'm pretty glad we have that. Yeah. What the beast. Based. It's like one of my favorites. <laughs> well, I mean, I mean, I feel like Morrigan Mid is a little bit more prevalent. I would say in Europe, it's you in Vinayu. It's in NA, but not nearly as much. Almost everyone in the EU plays it. I think. Well, that's fair I to say. think that is less, and I think this is a, a large part of the conversation. And I, maybe I. So yes, I think that's true. But the meta, it's not because there's two ideas of meta game. Sure. There's the idea of metagame that is dictated by, like, this stuff is good and this stuff is bad, so we play the good stuff versus the bad stuff. And I think that's the sort of rudimentary level of meta. Sure. When players get into your conquest game and they go, what's the meta pick? And you go, you're a fucking idiot, but just, you know, play Poseidon mid, right? right. Um, then you have the next level where... In a, that develops in a pro league or in a or in a small division. If you are in like grandmasters, for example, you see the same players over and over and over and over again, and the meta game of your games will be dictated by the patches and also by what the players play. Yes. So I just think that yes, we see more of the Morgan in the middle lane in Europe, not because. Europe is correct or incorrect about the value of her in the middle lane, sure. but because they have better the Morgan pilots, and that just happens to be more heavily in right. Europe. I also think that there's something to it, like almost on a fantasy level, right? Like let's say that you're in a fantasy league where for some reason everyone just drafts tight ends in round one, right? Well, now there is less. The value of every one of them has kind of been driven up because that's what's being picked. You know what I mean? So exactly. it's like it, it, Morgan, whether or not she's good, if if zeros is that good on it, I have to play it more now, so zeros can't have it. Yeah. Or, you know that sort of thing. It, it it gets driven up the value because I think of of, of just the players there. Like you're saying. to 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 a yeah. certain point, it's almost. I mean, I think the Morgan in Europe got so zeros was so damn good at it that I think he's the best on it. By the way, yeah. Period of story. Zeros got so damn good at it that we saw teams banning it, and it started to hurt them overall because he would just play other stuff just mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. And so the way to combat that, I think we legitimately saw European players practice and get better <laughs> and and learn to play the Morgan <laughs> because zeros was that scary so that you could viably pick it from him right yeah yeah I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> I think I think like you know pro players can play all the all the characters but the ones that you can actually like bring out you know the one that you're going to play against Daigo in grand finals I think yeah people grinded the Morgan so that they could take it from zeros and not hurt their team <laughs> and if you're that's in Daigo grand goodness. finals that's scary you know? <laughs> what do you do <laughs> maybe pull us a god is he good right now I don't know I haven't seen him <laughs> <laughs> no, but I also think that there's some differences in, in where Pele is valued, right? She's getting picked, I would say, more in, in a, more in SML as well. Maybe, not yeah. even that much in SML as much as I thought, but a little bit more in NA, especially like in the jungle. We've seen some solo from Europe. I don't know if there's a, a particular reason. Again, that might just be just something that is coincidentally happening, but I like Pele more in the jungle. I think that's where she should be coming Same. out from. She's viable, certainly, in solo, but... I like zooming around the map and doing a ton of damage, by the way. You know, it's interesting. I, and I being hard to kill. I feel like Pele is a very Cubo Fred character. Yeah. And I don't feel like she's a very uh, adapting character. But adapting played her and kind of carried, right? Or yes. am I getting that confused? No, I'm pretty sure you played her. Can we make sure so that we don't I, look like I can fools? Look at, I can look, I guess. How do I, how do, I do that? Do you want to look? I, oh, shit. Yeah, there's no way for me to check that. Fuck. Yeah. Well, what do you just talk about your Pele point? We can check and see who plays. So I, I, sure. uh, I'm just saying that, like again, like the Morgan conversation. I think that there are there are Pele junglers, and you look at somebody like Deathwalker. He's going to try the weird stuff in the solo lane, right? Sure. So he's going to try the assassin, and it was specifically against another assassin. It was a Robin solo, right? Something where he didn't. It wasn't that. It was low pressure. I think it was a Guardian that he went up against. But the idea was he wasn't trying to fight them in lane. It seemed like in that matchup where Deathwalker played. Oh, I was an SML. Man, we, there are so many freaking smite games. We have a lot league. of leagues, dude. A lot oh, of games. Man, I, it's it's yeah. hard to keep it all tracked. Yeah, no, in, in the minor league, though, we saw Robin Solo. Which he is will really start team fights sooner. I think that is categorically false. Yeah, that, I, I mean. Am I wrong on that? I, I mean, someone in chat says that they started. They started sooner. An anecdotally, I would say that's false, but I would, but you know, stats always surprise me. Sure, I mean, there's a chance. From what I've seen, Europe tends to like to have kind of like big fights around 20, 21 minutes, and they very much determine the game. In a, will fight over nothing, my dude. They're e happy to do it to throw e hands. Yeah, e United <laughs> likes to start fights rather early. Dignitas usually waits until like 17, 18 minutes. Energy too. Yep. Energy, energy a little bit quicker. Energy. 
energy I feel like recently will just fight off of adapting. And if adapting wants to invade the sure. red buff and just start a party, then his team is down. Um, and I think it's been very successful for them. But E United fight early and often. They do. They're e happy United. to fight. Well, what E United do really well, better than anybody else, I think, is like strip your farm. Like yeah. they're in your jungle. Mike. Scream. Yeah. yeah. And then and they're and and that's where their fights start a lot of the times, right? It's over your blue buff and solo or your red buff. Yeah. You know, they 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 do that very well. I would yes. Say. Scream. Yeah. Scream is. It's funny. We talk like best junglers in the world, and it's always. And it's it's always adapting Cubo, and yes. up until very recently it was it was Anister. Sure, uh, I I feel like Scream is left out of that conversation for some reason. And I don't know. I and, and I I would include him. I think Scream is the most consistent player in E United, and E United is the best team in North America and a top four team, so he should certainly be in the conversation. I, I don't right? I don't think Scream. I think I think Yaman is by far the most consistent player of all time in Smite, but I think Scream is kind of close. Sure. Scream, I mean, even when even in spring when E United were struggling, I think Scream was playing well for that team when they were when they were having some I, I really need to check my last statement. I feel Don't like Scream was spotty before the end of season four and the beginning. Yes, of I'm five. talking about season five. Yeah, yeah, he's been, for, yeah, he's yes. been very consistent. Yes. But uh no, Yaman, Yaman. Game Hunter's the most consistent player, says Adam Mills. Ah. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have any strong feelings about that? I think Game Hunter is, uh, <laughs> Game Hunter was pretty, uh, Game Hunter was good, very good at the time. I think Game Hunter is kind of like, uh, he's kind of like a Hulk Hogan, where it's, he's a pillar of the time, but as we watch the game kind of mature and change, sure. he's very clearly a relic of the past. Yes. And and I don't think that his skills stand up over time. And if I may, I'm sorry. It was the most overhyped play of all time. Sure. He just vomited people down. I don't care. That's not a pentacle. Cliss says Benji's the most consistent, more consistent than Scream at United. Yes, that's I. Yes, that's absolutely true. I don't know, man. I think you're right. The last I think time, that what has happened is that Benji has. I mean, I just don't know. I just don't know if I feel like Benji no. does all the highlight reels like he, he used to. He, He's definitely come down a little bit. Not a lot. I, not, he was just so absurdly high that you got to come down I, a little I, bit. I asked Tolly this the other day. When was the last time Benji had a bad game? Sure. But when was the last time Scream had a bad game? I, I could probably dig one up. They're, I think that they're good enough to where we're not measuring them by bad games. We're measuring them by absurd games. Like, how often do they... Are they are they ludicrous? And more often, I think. Well, I don't screams. think they're ever Chris Bridges. Why do you keep doing this? Because you keep using the word ludicrous. It's a good word. You're the one who's obsessed with old school rappers. He's a fantastic. He had an album called Chicken and Beer. I don't give. I don't care about that. I like both chicken and beer. I, uh, yeah, he he went right down the middle of the road. Yeah. Uh, what a stance to take, chicken I'm, and beer. I'm with it. That's <laughs> like, a positive guy. I, I guess so. He he wrote area codes. I'm a big fan of water. You know. Glad there's sunshine out there. I mean, you know, I, those are nice things for me. Both of those. Air, probably I would works. probably, if, if I had more chicken and beer in my life than water and sunshine, I you would, would die. I would be okay you with would that. Absolutely. But die. I think I like chicken and, and beer more than I like water and sunshine. <laughs> sure. I can I can live like in darkness and play video games, and I can like and dehydrate to death. Yeah, and, like I will drink chicken or eat chicken <laughs> eat, and drink chicken beer. And drink beer. You know, over water. Like no, I'm you're down. right. Chicken and beer is slightly more of a stance than water. Yeah. It is slightly more of a stance, yes. I bet you you're aggro right. wouldn't be down. I don't care about him. <laughs> I'm just saying he doesn't like flavor. This is twice now. You're trying to force aggro into a conversation. This happened last night. I'm like, fuck aggro. I miss and today, him. And I'm like, I, miss I, him. I, miss him. I don't. Aggro's been gone for one for one day. <laughs> you and Aggro are good friends, though. No, not really. Okay, I, I thought like I was. I thought I was working with you, and you and you just you shut me down. Nah, I no ended you. Why? No, and, and I don't know why. I don't know what we gained from it. I just don't but, like. But I like this conversation we're having, right? About who's more consistent. These top players. Do you think you have a top in each role, just across the FPL in general? Of consistency. Just like maybe just like your top player. However you want to your your barometers. However you want to measure. Certainly, like I guess explain why. But like, oh. who do you think would kind of be the top one? Like, let's just do Hunter. Who's like the top Hunter? Like the best Hunter right now? How whatever, however you want to define Ooh, okay. it. Okay, you know? that's a that's a big old. It's tough because I think Hunter is close, right? Uh, I think you could make the case probably Emilito, I would say. Sure. No. Energy's safe, though. It feels so safe to vote Emilito. What about Arkle? When's the last time Arkle had a bad game, right? We just said that about Scream and Benji. The man's just over there holding it down. I was going to say Arkle. Yeah. Arkle. Patrick said Arkle, too, yeah. Yeah, I was going to say Arkle. Arkle's the man. He always does what you want him to. And what's fun about Arkle, 
which is more of a reflection of his team, is that Arco, uh, so a lot of hunters, a hunter is a character that builds items to basic attack. Right. And just have consistent, like, DPS, right? Yes. And a lot of hunters trade some of that out in exchange for control or team fight ultimate, right? Rom is, in my in my opinion, Rom might be the the, the truest the hunter. Truest maybe? hunter. Yeah. yeah. And you don't get to play Rom because he has is he gets lane bullied. He doesn't have any control. He doesn't have Panda's team fight. Too, that's a good point. Right. <laughs> and Pan that is a good point. Panda but that's really good. Arkle gets to hi Vinny hi Vinny hi Vinny hi Vinny. You know I had a sandwich before we came in here. And like I had lunch before we started this, and Vinny pokes his head and he goes, "What you doing?" I'm Vinny, come here. A sandwich. Vinny, come here. Come here. What do you do? What? Vinny, come here. No, the show is not set up for this. We don't. We yes, can't have it guests. Is. yes, it we is. Yes, it is. We cannot. What's up? This is Vinny. Vinny, come know. here. Come here. Come here. This is Vinny. No, you got it. There he is. This is the best admin. Thanks, Tom. No, no, no. Let's get you. There he is. Thanks, Vinny. Thanks, Vinny. See you later, man. See you are later, the best. Vinny. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> The best admin. Yeah, if I had to rank them, like let's say that I was putting. If I had to rank Vinny and and Jameson, oh Oof. shit, probably tied for first. Yeah, <laughs> but if I had to rank, if I had to rank like Vinny and Coop, oh, Vinny. that's an easy win for Vinny. That was actually easy W. Yeah, for yeah, Vinny. yeah easy. easy. That was actually uh, our <laughs> first viewer requested topic was to rank the league operations people in, in order. Right. And actually, it was just rank the league operations managers in order, which is exclusively Cooper. So he had to be number one. But if Vinny's on that list, it, Vinny is number one. Yes. I'm, v I'm very glad we got that. Someone said, isn't Churn a perfect hunter? He's just about the autos, which I think is ludicrous. Churn has like an absurd amount of ability damage. His ultimate yeah. has a lot of utility. Yeah. I don't know if I'd say he's just about the autos. I, 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 un I understand where they're coming from because <laughs> of the cycle of seasons, or whatever the fuck it's called. The one? No, he's Churn as in Chernobog. Sorry, not oh, Kernanos. Oh, Kernanos. Churn. I might have said I might have said Cern and not Churn. Yeah, no, the, their the, names the, when they're short yeah. are too close. No, 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 no the, the, the the two blow up thing is like yeah. a very ability based. Yeah, it's a bunch of damage. He doesn't have an on demand steroid, right? He does with his two, right? He just kind of throws it. It pierces. It's not a steroid though. It no, but he has attack speed afterwards. He's, sure, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, yeah, I, would, I, I think Rom is probably truer. Yes, I think Rom is the truest. And, and, and I'm with you. my point being is that. He has such talented teammates that bring so much else to the battlefield that he can play Rom every single game yeah. and just be a hunter. And it's crazy, right? Like, th like there's no, he just has to be a hunter, like, all up in the air. Like, that's all he does. He just, he's just a hunter. He's like, and, what if I just hit everything? Yeah, and, and I mean, you know, th that's that's just a comment that's not a positive or, or, or a negative because he can play the other shit. Pick he someone. doesn't have to. Arco. Yeah. I picked Arco. I think like I'm going to stick ago. with him, Alito. Yeah? Yeah. And I love Panda Cat, and he's great, and I and I mean that. But I'm taking him only. I I I like Ar I I like Panda Cat with a lead. Sure. I think Panda Cat is the best hunter with a lead. I think Panda Cat and PBM might be the best dual lane. I'm I'm trying to think right now. Like Arkle Tricks is close. But I think it might be PB and Panda Cat. They just always get a lead. Doesn't it what feel like it or have pressure? Bear? What about Devin Barrett? Don't ever say my goddamn name again. <laughs> get out of my game! Yeah, get the fuck out of my game! You gotta say it like Ron <laughs> I know that you all love Jeff Barra, and they are good. Uh, but they're not in the conversation. What about Devin Barra? No. What about Devin Barra? I would... Uh, we'd have to have gone through three or four other duo lanes before I start thinking about Jeff and Barra. You know, I, I, I wish we could still talk about... You think it might be Cyclone or Roar? Hindu, you're so wrong. Was that Cyclone spin? No, it was oh. Hindu Man. Fact, so, so no, wrong. No, so <laughs> actually, I, I, that's funny. They are almost 90% dependent on Izanami to make that lane work. <laughs> that's, I, that's false, and I think, <laughs> I think they are the secret up-and-comer. I think they're good. I think they have the potential to kind of match the best duo lanes, and by, and I mean by... World's time by placement time, like they they might be able to dance. Sure. Um, but I I really miss being able to talk about Darda as being in, in part of the best duel lane. Sure. And I don't think with him moving to Hunter. Shit, the Darda like, Cheerio duel duel lane. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> the Darda. Who has analysis ready for that? The Darda <laughs> Cheerio duel lane is like. Man, it's like watching your your like two favorite artists like now just do like 
backyard kids' birthday parties while drunk. Sure. It's like how the mighty have fallen, <laughs> and they're going to put on a show that is... It exists. I thought it would be more like watching your favorite musicians like try and do IT. You're like, why are you guys doing that? Just, you know, like, like, <laughs> like come on, <laughs> play music. It's gonna no, it's gonna be like that LL Cool J Brad Paisley song. Sure. No, <laughs> get out of here. The accidental racist song. No, God. Where it's just like you guys are doing like LL's trying to sing country yeah. and Paisley's trying to rap, and it's like just. Just do what you do. Spider Five. We will get to that a little bit later Just on. Spider Spider-Man? Spider Man. Spider was a great game. Spider Man was a great game. I played the hell out of it. Really enjoyed no, it. You did not. Yes, I did. You've played none. A zero amount is how much you've played. That's actually true. Uh, I mean, I played. Do you want to do any other roles? You think you think you think you think there's any value in it? I mean, yeah, I'm super down. It's yeah. like yeah, that's like a thick conversation. It is a lot. That's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. a lot. I don't know if we should like maybe just break it up or not. Oh, what about Midlanders? That's really tough. I feel like no. So many good. Who are you going to say zeros? Zeros to Yaman. Zeros I think I, I think pick. You have to, you have to pick. I, it, that is the, the thing we do. I, I, I say Yaman. Over zeros. I say, so it's it's max speed versus acceleration. I think zeros will... Bless <coughs> you, sir. I think Yaman just... I, like uh, Yaman will always give you a above average game. Zeros will sometimes give you a bad game, but his best games are better than Yaman's. Okay, that's fair. I don't know if I'll ever see Yaman have a bad game. I don't think I'll see that yet. He's very, very good. I have said... I think Yaman might be the best player. I have said world. that I'm not going to, like, stamp it down and sign my name yet. Sure. Yaman might just be the best might player of all time. All time? Yes. Season, like, two and three adapting might have, like, a thing or two I to mean, say. I mean, career, like, career-wise, he, like, sure. he's just been super consistent. Always fucking good, wide god pool. He won MVP. He won MVP of Worlds on a fucking Chiron mid pick when He's Hunter good. mid he was farmed. unheard of. My mid farm. You know, like he invents <laughs> metas. He, I don't know, Yamin. Like I said, I'm not. I'm not signing the check just yet. Sure. But I, I R and D is deep in the development, and I'm pretty sure that's the truth. I think I will take zeros. And, and I, think I, I feel I, I good would, about. It. I would respect yes, that. Yes, I feel like I'll I think I feel that. good about. It. Especially the way he's playing right now. He, he looks really, really good. Um, and uh, you gotta, you gotta ban around him. I don't know. I don't know if Yemen is like as good as he is. I don't know if, if you're like planning how you're gonna beat energy. I don't think so. I think that's one of zeros is. It's funny because again, I think zeros' his best games are probably better than Yaman's best games. Right. Um, but those are focused. I think Yaman and Zeros both have very wide god pools, but the best Yaman gods, you know what they are and you ban them. Right. Whereas Yaman, I feel like if I, if I ban Giannis the Morgan versus Zeros, he has a Thoth. Discordia maybe, yeah. Discordia, right. But I know what to expect. Yaman, I feel like, can pull anything out from Agni to Zhang Kui and will go 8-0-8. Yes. And, like, I can't, there's nothing I can ban. I ban, maybe I ban a Giannis because I don't want to play with portals, or I ban a Nua because I just hate Emilito. But, like, <laughs> I don't think that there's a direction that I can focus my bans for Yaman. Sure. And I think that's really powerful. No, I think that helps Yaman here some. Yaman has two world titles on a semi finish over three seasons being in the SPL. Why I, is Hindu Man saying things we know? Well, no, 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 because Hindu is bringing up the point that, like, the superlatives matter. Yeah, do. And I, I have always been one, and perhaps the fact that I'm a Carmelo fan is, is reflective of this. I'm, so I'm, I've always been one that I think that the hardware is part of the conversation, but by no means a gatekeeping-like device. I sure. Think, I think Charles Barkley is there one of the best There are a lot of scrub with ranks, you know, who just yeah. kind of sat on the pond. Yeah, that that, is and, and, and vice versa. You yes. look at Patrick Ewing, you look at, you look at Charles Barkley, Charles Barkley and yeah. then you, you look at Smite, and you look at Cyclonesman doesn't have anything, right? There are plenty yeah. of players that you would consider uh, some of the best players in the world at their time or I don't currently. think Baskin's ever won, right? Baskin's yeah. never won nothing, yeah. and he's largely considered one of the best in the world. Yeah. So so I think I think Hinderman coming from that direction, I, I get it, but I don't think that... That implies a giant gap. I don't think there's a giant gap no. between Yaman and, look at and Kuka, Look at Kuka here. Baskin is an E and I. They're unbeatable, and energy can't be E. I mean, I don't know my, my guy. I gotta see it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, no. I think that they are better with Baskin. I don't think that they are. 
energy dig no. better than. Yeah, that, than so that's, that's, that's. I gotta see it though. If I see it, I mean, then yeah, you're right. That's how we started the show was yeah. if, if this United team was better than the energy season two, season three. And I just think there's no way possible. I, I mean, not at all. Yeah. Well, we, we'll, we'll certainly we'll get a chance to see him in action. I'm very much looking forward to it because I think they are better than what we saw. And, and I'm down to be proven wrong. Yes, absolutely. You know, I'm not coming from a fan perspective. I'm not saying there's a 0% chance. Yeah. I'm saying that I would not bet on United. What do you think the percent chance is? I would say 70-30, probably. I dead agree. Yeah, yeah I like, think 70-30. Like facts, 30 like 70-30. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dead ass. Yeah. Ryan's a dead ass on broadcasting. <laughs> and I'm just like, yeah, is that where we're well, at? That's funny as shit. I'm listening to the fucking Paladins broadcast, and Nick is like, what a big ass shot! And I'm like, <laughs> I think Nick and Evan can do whatever they want. And I'm like, so. what? And Evan's just like, yeah, he says that. And I was like, Give okay. the rest of NA participation trophies. What up, man? <laughs> we're going to talk a little bit about the SML, but mostly E later on. How are you doing, man? Death Panther? We can talk about Death Panther later if you want to. <laughs> I just. I mean, I, they lost. So I don't know. There's nothing. I don't know what positive to say about Death them. Panther. I just. Uh, you. You have to say Death Panther whenever you say SML. Oh, right, because he's a minor league. It's player. in the contract. Right, 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 right. I get you. I'm giving him the exposure. Zero has to have a go a game go with him to be good. Like he's not doing things by himself. I don't know how true that is. Um, <sighs> have you guys spoken about soul winners already? I a little loosely. We talked a little bit about Benji, but not like in depth, particularly on. Yeah, the, so you know, yeah. we've we've kind of had these. Uh, Probably Benji right now, though, over Deathwalker, I would say. Oh, easy. Right now. Um, right, literally, right now in this tiny pocket of Smite that's happening currently. It's a. I think that's a great. I think that's one of the best conversations of season five right now, though, is Benji or Deathwalker, and I think it is those two. And I think Variety is a nut, and I think he's the closest one in that conversation. Maybe Aqua, but he's still down, I would say, a little bit. I think this is actually really interesting because if you ask me the best players in each role, I think most of the time I wind up on Europe. Right, yes. And I think solo lane is the exception. Where you want to go Benji or Aqua? Uh, where I, I go, I mean, not Aqua at just all. Just Benji. Just Benji. Sure, sure, sure. And, and I think the distance between Benji and Variety has great games, but is not as consistent as any of the solo laners uh, available for choosing. Maniac is probably secretly that number two. And I don't think people realize it. I don't think they call his number. I've said this before. I, don't, I just don't think they ask him to do that. I, exactly. Yeah. There are multiple games in this split Excuse me. that you can watch the play happen. Maniac pushes buttons to cause the win. Yes. Like you can watch the game where the team gets a lead and adapting gets ganks and Yamaha No Divios, thing, no. But Maniac will win the team fight that wins the game. Like, yeah. he will get a four-man could call a knockup. Absolutely. Or he will just fight will, you on your feet. He will and charge, break your pray elbows. the carry, and they'll never hit the ground. You yeah, know, like, like, yeah, like, like that. Maniac is, 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 is that guy often. I don't think people realize it. Yeah, and I, I agree. And, and, and I think he is your number two. And I I don't know if you can make the argument that he's number one about Benji. I think Benji is just unequivocally. You think he's closer one. than Deathwalker right now? Yes. I, I think even with Rival struggling, Deathwalker is still number two. I see Ice Ice as that guy. Or, or, or oh, n never mind. In Soul Winners. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I see Ice Ice for Rival, yes. Exactly, that's, yes. that's kind of where it's Right now, yes. Um, but Deathwalker, I, Deathwalker's been lukewarm. I don't sure. think he's been bad. I he's don't definitely been he's like kind of... been there. He's been flexing a little bit outside of normal stuff, I think. Experimenting a little bit more hasn't always worked. Thank yeah. you, Outlandish, by the way. Appreciate you, man. Um, so, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Right now, I think if, if we have to take a tiny little snapshot of the league, I'll say Benji. Yeah. And I don't want to commit to anything beyond that. No, and, 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 and <laughs> I, I think... I don't I, think I could. I think that's totally fair because <laughs> Deathwalker has played his pants off the entirety of the year. Yes. And it's just really now that Rival is kind of cool down and we i can trace it directly to summer finals where the excuse was they didn't have alpha jackal sure. and i don't know if he took off took a uh, I, it's funny cuz we we talked on twitter but uh, rival weren't rival until literally yesterday right they like they showed up or or, or, or thursday when rather. they played their game yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they looked not only did they look bad but they looked like we, we discussed this uh, on the broadcast throughout the past couple of splits, how Rival had sort of transcended this team Voltron identity. Right. And have been focusing, like, more of a traditional, you've got one or two star players with a supported cast. Yeah. And, and that would rotate on this Lady Susan. 
but they had kind of transcended the team to get to that. And maybe transcended was the wrong word because I feel like they flew too close to the sun and del- relying on like one player or two players to do it. Yeah, for me, it's I think it's just Wolfie. I'm being if I'm being honest. I, I think he that's looked, where it started. He looked great in their set on Thursday. Yeah, he looked, and that's what I, I, I said. It picked a man before we go in. I think that this was about Wolfie having consistently good games. And I think in all three of their one loss, because they went three games in that set, I believe, he looked good in every game. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, when he plays like that, and he went to Poseidon, too, which there's all the history with them yeah, on already. Yeah, I did love that. Obviously, I so, love that. I mean, uh, with, 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 the, with the Kraken mistimings and stuff like that. On, uh, but but I, I think when he plays like that, that's sort of the glue for Rival. It really does. They definitely need him at that level. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But it was. It's also so like something happened between week three and four. Sure. Something. They, and and I. If this was not. We don't know for sure, but no. it, it seems this way. I, sure. th- this wasn't a. Well, we just practiced hard and came out, <laughs> played the game, and collected the win, boys. So that's just how it goes. That's not what this was. This was a. So there was a, there was a powwow. There was an intervention. There was a come to Jesus, whatever you want to call it. Somebody sat the, the five players down and went, listen, something has to change. The play style is not working. And I don't know if the instruction was for Wolfie to stop sucking or if the instruction was for the team to play more as a unit or I'm whatever sorry, the instruction my notes was. The but, but that's basically what happened was that Wolfie stopped sucking and we saw people play as a team and as a unit. And I, I said it 20,000 times during that broadcast because that's all I could see. Sure. And I was so, so excited to see the return. So excited to see the return because it, it was a return of identity. Yeah, and and, and I it, it felt like it, it felt like that that cheesy moment in the, in like the cheesy movie or show where it's like you know this is we remember why we were friends in the first place and then like they win the tournament or whatever. Right, 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 right. Like this is it was like the meeting with the goddess on a story circle, right, Jameson? Something like that, maybe. <laughs> That's a dumb Jameson joke. This is the, like, Rival are going to make another, like, soft focus, piano music, slow motion documentary. I'm glad you're talking about this, though, because... they're going to end it here. Do you think that... I I think Rival may have lost their shot, though, with their loss earlier in the week. Because now, with Energy beating Dignitas, that's like a point... I don't know if anyone else is going to be getting. You know what I mean? I think that they can climb their way in this place. Huh? Yeah. Well, sure, sure, sure. I just mean their chance of being top two. I believe that. I believe that, but that might be gone. But do you think here, it, it, since we're talking about kind of like EU standings in general, since Energy beat Dignitas, do you think there's a chance Energy can take number one from Dig? They're a game behind basically right now, six one five two, and they split in their win loss. They lost uh, the first time they played, but they won this time. I think they're both four O's too, or two O's. So it, it's tough to say, but I think that they might be able to get them if they can get some wins from somewhere else. Uh, I mean, it's possible. I, I honestly wouldn't be able to educatedly say without seeing the schedule because I'm forgetting sure. the last two weeks in my head. I can but, go through them a little bit. Yeah, but think just, I mean, thinking about like raw power, yeah, sure. I think Energy and Dignitas are usually a coin flip as to who's the better team on any given day. With that said, Energy spanked Dignitas. <laughs> like, destroyed 20,000 gold plus leads. Right. So maybe I retract my statement and just say, nah, Energy is the better team. Sure. Like, like I think they might be. It's so hard to say. All these things are very fluid. Yeah. It's so close over here. It's back and forth. I think those kind of big categorical ones are hard to say. But Dignitas still have to play Rival next week, which is huge. Then Obey the week after that. Uh, and then they close out with uh, what I assume is we could just call a free win with SK. Sure. Yes. And then Energy. And Energy still has to play SK again, free. Mouse at this point still be played and Obey. Energy. Energy. So, energy. Yeah, Energy probably will win all yeah. those games, I uh-huh. think. So it, it's tough not to say. Oh, yeah, thank you, Jameson. Everybody should be able to see where we're scrolling through on those games there at home as well, too. Um, so that's sort of the schedule looking forward to. And I think the schedule, like you said, does favor energy, maybe only a little bit. There's a chance Dig might go 2 1. Energy have a good shot at going 3 0, I think. Yeah, for sure. And that could leave them tied. I don't know exactly how that'll work out. It'll depend on win loss. But uh, yeah, there's a really good chance, I think, that Dignitas, as good as they've looked, because you have to be so perfect in EU, might drop the number one seed. There's a real chance. Yeah, I, I I agree. I also don't care. Sure. Like I don't I don't I don't know how much it matters. I'm looking at it more of like a, I got in rather than I got one or sure. two. Um, and I I guess it'll have implications for the bracket. It might later end up on. mattering at DreamHack. Yes, but, but probably not hugely. Yeah, when I, I when I look at it more as if you are seed one and two, you're gonna beat 
you're probably going to beat whoever you're up against. I don't think it really matters that much. But it's, it's going to be closer now, right? Because coming out of placement stages, probably just better teams than we've seen oh, before. Sure. Because now, oh, sure. well, if the international teams can make it through, they can, right? But, I mean, it's less likely now. they got to fight through the likes of third and fourth place teams like Obey, like Rival, I imagine, will be down there with yeah. them. Splice or Space Station potentially in that pool, too. It won't be easy. Yeah, I suppose. I, I think I think Dignitas or Energy be Thanks, Eugene. You know, like uh, a lot of those teams. So. Yeah, yeah, there's a good chance they'll be able to climb out on that one. So, yeah, we're leaning towards maybe a chance. The number one seed might go away, but you know, I'm not really sure how much that ends up mattering. But another seeding question, if we go over to North America then, Splice are in the number two spot right now, yep. technically, and they've got a big week coming up. They're going to play CLG mm -hmm. and E United next week. Do you think there's a chance Splice, or, or what chance do you give Splice to hold on to them to spot over Space Station? 95%. Cyclone spin, Cyclone win. I'm you think, you you were saying for sure. I, I'm trusted in the weaves, Wow. Dude. I'm trusted in the weaves. I think Cyclone spin <laughs> really has caught has caught fire. I, I think that, so so the, the what, what I've been kind of saying uh, over the past couple of weeks is that what I, we saw Cyclone spin move to the hunter role, and he was just kind of playing what he used to play there as just, uh, a, a solo lane carry guy that happened to be playing hunters, right? And he happened to be in this new position on he the map. He definitely had some growing but he was doing, he's still doing it. He took a step back as he tried to adjust, and now he just looks like a pretty damn good hunter. And I think that his his maturation in the hunter role has reached the point where, like, I trusted him, dude. I think that the splice team is at least as good as Space Station Gaming. I think so. If not better. And it's just tough for me because for some reason, and I don't know how much I can, how much validity there is to this, and that's why I want to hear your thoughts on it, it worries me that he's not playing the hunters everyone else is playing. You know, he's not playing, it you doesn't. know, on hers and, and ROMs and, and stuff like that that's dominating right now, or Jing Wei's that sort of thing. It's been a lot of the Izanami. We've yeah. seen Neath and Shibalanke over there from him, right? And he's one of the few that's playing those picks right now. Don't care. But, but that's what I'm saying. I mean, is it enough where if, 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 if Spice really come to have a problem, could they not just ban Cyclone Spin? Or can they not punish him? They have to pick his pick early in drafts a lot because he has to have them. I just, I'm, I just wor I'm just worried that maybe it could be somewhere they can get exploited. I don't think he has to have them. I think the team likes to play that style better. Sure. And they can easily play a different style. I mean, I, I and you're, I, I, you're, I, I hope so. I don't, Almost I don't all of their success has come from that, and they got to show me. I'm just looking to try and see where there might be a potential spot, and that's one that I could see for sure. Well, what because what really the reason that we see that sort of stuff is honestly, I think more about a roars type of, type of play style than than cyclones. Cyclone has always been a guy. God, Godpool is not a problem for Cyclone Spin. And the um, solo lane for sure not. And 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 I, and off of that mentality, I, and maybe I'm wrong for it, but I I I blindly trust Cyclone Spin. I think Godpool. that's the difference, right? Is that it, or, is that you just you trust yeah, it, and I, I want to see it first. I and blindly, I'm a huge Cyclone yeah. Spin fan. My first team that I was like fanboying for was like the 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 envious the, AFK the, roster. The, right? Oh, oh, with Dust. No, what? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my god. They're so good for a minute. I love that team. Um, I even liked Fat Chunks Assemble. I'm just saying. Fat Chunks Assemble. Now yeah, that dude. was. I'm thinking like the, the Pernicus, like Bakasura jaunt around the map. Like that was when I was like, oh, so you can just kind of do stuff in Smite, huh? You could just be a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and it like bees and it's okay. So I mean I'm definitely a big cyclone spin fan. I, I just wanna see I just wanna see it. And then I, I can give them You know, it. it's 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 funny because we talk about players kinda earning the benefit of the doubt or whatnot. Yeah. And for me, with a position swap as heavy as, you know, solo to to Hunter, for example, that's usually where I draw the line. Like, I did not give Big Man Tings the benefit of the doubt switching from support to, to mid. Right. I did not give Matt Yankee the benefit of the doubt moving to middle lane. Haha, <laughs> good. Um, <laughs> I did not give, you know, some of these junglers that have moved. I, no. But aspects of your play, I do. If you have good team fight vision and you move from solo to support, I'm going to expect your Kepri to be good because you have good team fight vision. I don't right. really care what's going on. And when it comes to Cyclone Spin, he's always had a very wide and eclectic god pool and likes to lean on the 
absurd side. And so I think that's kind of what we're seeing here is that I think he can play the on hers and, and and whatever else you want to see him play. He's leaning on the other stuff. One because it's fun. Two because it vibes well with his solo with his uh, support player, which is a very interesting support. Lane. They like to p- get p- get pressure early and cycle and pick those picks that does that. And even when he plays the Shibalanke, they sure. wind up doing stuff like that. I so I think it's more about fitting with his support and everything. And let you know worst case scenario smite breaks and all of those gods can, are deleted from the game i think he goes well that sucks and then pillar impales the next motherfucker that walks up to him anyway sure what i'm saying is i don't even know if the if the exp, if the exploit oh you broke it did i mess that up yeah oh, that's my bad i'm trying Here, I'll, to boost I'll the crowd on this then so that's what i'm saying i don't know if the exploit for it is is uh is so much that cyclone smith's forced to play something that he can't play or if it's that in picks and bands, you know they have to prioritize his pick earlier on than normal. Maybe there's a chance for you to let more priority stuff through, knowing it'll swing back around to you. I'm thinking it might look more like that so much than Cyclone Spin being forced to suck it on her, because I doubt he would. I doubt he would be bad at on her. I, right? I, <laughs> like, yeah, I... I think that I, I, I don't agree with you, but I think that sure. your, 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 uh, your argument has... Some sort of merit. Like, I think I get we're at it. the I point where the difference in us is our level of trust. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> exactly, it. exactly. Yeah, and, <laughs> and I and I love yeah. it. I just get, I just want to see it. That's all it is. I, 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 I respect that. That's yeah. totally fine. No, no problem. So um, that's you know that's sort of like some standing stuff that we can go over. I do also want to talk to you a little bit about some of the changes that we saw roster wise in console. Who's, I the, guess. who's your number one jungler? My number one jungler. Oh man, it's a good one. Uh, adapting right now. Yeah, that's just easy. My man's adapting. fragging out. I'm Absolutely. I'm just easy cubo friend. Okay. Yeah. You can have them. Just, I'm, I'm easy. <laughs> I don't. Although, I, dude, I picked up, like, I did the, the top five plays for Tuesday's Esports Weekly. Mm-hmm. Holy God, there's one fucking play guy. Like, who is it? It's adapting. Sure. And usually we see, usually when we see, uh, oh man, I wish I could pull it up. Uh, but you'll see it Tuesdays, 10 a.m. That's right. Uh, but what happens is, you usually know, screen, these top plays in consideration, yeah. are like, you know, quadra kills or what, this, that, or third. Adapting, when we say, like, adapting just does adapting stuff. Or right. he, he just does, the, like, be, he's better than you. It's this play on Dodgy. And he's just, he's, like, ability canceling. He's using, he's so fucking fast and darting around the team fight. And I'm just watching it and going, like, that's absurd. Yeah, he's just... Like, he's just so flashy and so it's That's so what it exciting. was in season two and three. He yes, was literally yes. just better than people. Yeah. And I think that's what adapting has missed a tiny bit and brought him back down. That's the thing. When we say these things, you have to remember the relative scale with which we're grading them. Adapting was so far ahead of everyone else. To say he's come down a bit, yeah. it still means he's absurdly, absurdly good. Like, it's it's a relative scale with which we grade I, I, I think they were... The I know you know. Time. I have to make sure that, that these people know. <laughs> I, I think if you look at season four adapting... If you look at season four adapting, he I think the meta hurt him there. By the way, I think the meta hurt him in season four. Whatever Johns you want to give him, season four adapting, <laughs> probably like sixty to seventy percent of what he was at his peak. Yes, and that still made him top three jungler in the fucking world. Yes, like think about that. That's ridiculous. Yeah, that's ludicrous. Yeah, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy how good he was. But that's the point, right? I said going into that set against like, Dignitas, like Chris Bridges, ludicrous. Um, how important it was for adapting to play like old adapt yes. for them to find that win. That's what he did. And you mentioned that Dal G, as mechanically good as he is, the recognition is what impressed me in the picks and bands. That tenth pick Dal G was just the pick there. Yeah. Their comp could not handle it. And then also he's very 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 good at it. Which is. <laughs> Why they picked it? They yes. picked it because he's very, very good at it. And I, <laughs> the one bit of credit I, I, I don't give adapting. I don't think he always picks the perfect choice for the for the like mathematical balanced team, which is totally fine if you're a sure. like you, you know what I'm saying. But the, he, the, he, you'll see the perfect pick, and he'll go. I'm better at this character. Yeah, but he's sort of like, you know, like Ray Allen, right? Like Ray Allen didn't always stand in the best spot for your offense. He stood where he was going to have his best shot. Yeah. Right? And and, and, and he's that good. I want him to take three pointers that often that you're like, yeah. Just like Chaos. Yeah. (laughs) Not like that at all. (laughs) Not even a little bit. Adapting has won things. (laughs) Jared Smith won sixth man of the year, dude. That's true. With with the Nuggets, right? With the Knicks, bro. Oh, he won with the Knicks. Okay. Yep. How'd they do that year? Probably 10th, I would say. No, they scrubbed out in the first round of the playoffs. Oh, they were 8th. Cool. 
No, they, I think they were seventh, but they uh, lost in the first round of the playoffs. Yeah, good job, the Knicks, big boys. But let's let's talk a little bit about uh, this this console league here if we can. We we don't know a ton of the information, but we know inbound is leaving Astro. What the fuck? Right. Like extremely Snoopy voice. What the fuck is happening? Yeah, that's that's crazy. Astro are one of the most consistent teams on box, bar none, if we can if we count last season and this season. Bobby's kind of been in and out with them. This is something he does. He moves around a lot. Yes, yeah. but. They just got through stomping rival in a very difficult to watch set. Like that was hard to watch what was happening to my boy Predators. Wolves put the hurt on him. Why would you not want? I don't understand why they would want to leave. He 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 won the lotto. Is going to like? Uh, I mean, he's got to go either. Bro, I mean, he has to have a better uh, a better opportunity than this. Either he's going to the pro league, or he's leaving Smite, or he has a super team in the running. Sure, because the competition there might be a big shakeup or something. Because the right? competition in North American SCL, the top two teams are very close. Sure, and I could see Bobby kind of of those ten players. <laughs> I could see Bobby kind of cherry fit being like, yo, sure, sure. So uh, instead of just fighting against each other. <laughs> Let's make the five best players out of the two of our teams come together and we'll just shit on the losers. Do you mind if I derail you for a second? Because yeah, yeah, Pat Paker said one of the best sentences I've ever read, J.R. Smith's career is one long heat check, which is the exact, that's, that's perfect. So <laughs> right. <laughs> right, you can't agree and then like him. That's okay, <laughs> that's all right. You know, J.R. Smith has his own song. I don't want to hear it. You oh, played okay. it for me before. I'm I've played it many times. I appreciate you played it for me before. But like, so even if we don't George know... Carl is boring. <laughs> I stay scoring. <laughs> That's true. So like, I so we have our ideas about where where Bobby's going. Sure, we'll we'll, we'll certainly see soon. But I think that more importantly, <laughs> what it means for console rival now probably don't have to worry as much about Astral. Yeah. That that Wolves oh. Predators matchup is still maybe. Rough. Uh yeah no 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 and so. If Bobby goes, if Bobby goes to like super team route North American SEL, uh, then Rival has to worry. Sure. Um, and honestly, like Bobby, big, big, huge asset. But I also don't want to overvalue him. Right. Do you mean like mechanically or in general? Sure. Like I think if they find a replacement that is equal to that is close to his skill level, because I do think he's one of the best uh, console players, right? Yes. If they find a replacement that's equal to his skill level, then I. Can Wolves is still like that team is still nasty. Yes, they are very. And so still rivals very good. still have to worry. Like, yes, yeah, you're very no, right. so you're so right. I think if if Bobby just is removed and a support player comes in and everything else remains the same, rivals still have to worry. Yes, I'm just saying, sixty percent of Astral's team plan seems to be, well, why is Bobby overextended? We have to fight now, and they win off the back of that. Yeah, like, well, maybe they'll just like, I don't know. <laughs> maybe they'll find some random support and feed him a bunch of G fuel and make him go nuts. Yeah, make him be the one that ends up knocking out. So we just want to make sure we hit on that. Talk a little bit about what's going on with console. Maybe they'll shake things up. We'll see what if what happens at Flashpoint. Maybe they got a better chance over there in North America now. Right. So Certainly something that we'll, that we'll keep our eyes on. One of our other leagues, I'm a big fan of, the minor league. Uh, one of the, 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 particularly in Europe, <laughs> kind of the one that I, I'm like covering Panther. a lot more. Yep, Death Panther is in the minor league. Um, Insignum have now lost Optimus Gang twice this split. And I would like to soapbox for a tiny bit about Go this. Go ahead, because I'm going to do it too. Because there have been a, some complaints, I would say, that they have to do the best of ones, right? And I, whatever you say about that, whatever. Yes, that's how I feel. I, I literal yawns. At this point, you gotta win. Optimus Gang are not, <laughs> they're not, they're not, uh, they're not tricking you. <laughs> they're not, they're not catching you off guard. They're not snowballing early. My, they're giving Johnny Al Kwong and they're beating you with it. Twice yes. now. Gotta win. That's yes. literally all there is to yes. You gotta win. And they didn't. Now, luckily for them, they have a safety net and they get to just go to place those, those round robins anyway. But for, but if you're, if you're gonna talk, I feel like you should, you gotta win your matches. I honestly feel that way. And all props to Optimus Gang. Optimus Gang, Optimus Gang, Optimus Gang. I've been I've been saying it since. Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang, Gucci Gang. Oh God, I wasn't going there, but uh, no, it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah, yeah it's three syllables. It's too, it's too long. Yeah. Uh, these I've loved these guys, and I've loved these guys since I I thought they were on the come up when they got booted from the pro league when we moved from eight to six. They were on the come up. They were slowly grinding, but I they were definitely a step below the pro league teams, and so it's like troublesome kind of. 
grind out of there. Yeah. So then they're down in the minor league, and I think that they were clearly, Insignum was clearly the better team, but Optimus Gang continued to improve, continued to improve, and I think you look at the players, you look at players like Sibby, who has become a strong player. Yes. And you, you look at the other players around him, because Spanify has become a strong player. Um, and I think Johnny, I I made I made a... a, a, a do I want to say the word audacious? I mean, I made like a very big statement the other day where I said Johnny reminded me of a young adapting. Sure. Just the way that he plays the game and how strong he is and and how he leverages that said strength over his opposition. And I'm not and and, and I'm not saying he's as good as adapting. Don't misconstrue my words. Right. But it reminds me of watching adapting on the come up when he was playing with I five and and then Panthera, right? And I I think that this team, yeah, they are coming at you just like. So Johnny is going to have, like, a cannon <laughs> and fuck you. <laughs> By the way, and, they're and, playing with their cards face up on the yeah, table. Yeah. They really are. They're like, hey, here's what we're going to do. Yeah. And then they do it. Hard carry <laughs> Johnny. And Johnny's like, okay. okay. He's just like, like, yeah, I'm with it. And, yeah. he, and he just wins, and I'm very excited. I don't think, you know, and... It, it, for whatever reason, if you want to have the ridiculous conversation, can they be the pro league team? I don't think so. No, but, we'll, but I, we'll I, find out. I think I think that they have become better than Optimus Game, or, or uh, better Insignum. than Insignum. They've shown it here. They do still have to show it in that best of three. But you're right. Sorry, uh, Lasbro. I think beating them twice is a. Uh, is pretty convincing. That yeah. matters to me. I think. Yeah. But um, I, I kind of want to talk just a little bit, just just for the clarification, the way that's going to work for those minor league teams is that they're going to have the, the the top three teams. They're going to go into like a round robin at the bottom of this, where they're going to have their best of threes amongst each other. The top team from that then is going to go to the placement stages, where they'll be in the pool with the not top two SPL yeah. teams, and I think the top international teams as well from SGS. So they have a path through for all you diehards out there saying that they would stomp SK or LG or whatever. Uh, you'll have your, we'll see. I am of the opinion that they will not, but we will see. I really, you know, <laughs> as an SK fan, yeah. I would love to watch that. You think, you, how close do you think it'd be? Uh, I think it, I think it'd be closer than I'd like to admit, but I yes. still think that SK would, 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 uh, Obviously, win. What? What is it like? What is the word? Clearly, like, win. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. Just like, just yeah. like, win by a, a fair margin. Sure. I think that. I think that's the case. I think I it, like. If I had to guess, I would say they'd probably win on two close two O's. You know what yeah. I mean? It would be a two O, but the games wouldn't be stopped. I, I think. I think Johnny does a good job, like keeping fails down and out. And then I think Funball just fucks on everyone. Yes. I think Funball and Lobster just go like, hey, remember when? <laughs> yeah. And they're like, <laughs> like, yeah. By the way, been here for years now. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, I, well, I, I think, mean, so have a lot of them. Optimus yeah. Game were in the too. I won't, I, a lot of them were. Yeah. So I will give them to our time. I, yeah. I, yeah, no, I just, they, they're they're a different level. And I think, yeah, Funball and, and Lobster just kind of step up. Which, by the way, I love to watch. Yes, you like to watch. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm excited fan. to see. We'll see. And, I, and I will, I'll be the first one to go, okay. When they win, right? I'll be the first one to go. Nice oh, job. I'll be salty as shit. If they win, I'll go. Okay, nice. I'll job. be salty as hell. Yeah. Okay. I, I think that's that. I like Outdoors King. I just, I don't know. I like my everything in their box. Minor league over there. Pro league. Oh, I there. see. <laughs> well, this is uh, this is what they've been working towards. I'm glad they have that opportunity. But let's try and go back to the SPO just a little bit here because we were kind of talking about how the top SML would play against the bottom of the SPL which does kind of make me think a little bit about Trifecta down there, <laughs> LG, CLG. They've been struggling some. Right now, Trifecta and CLG are tied. They are above LG. Which one do you think, if you had to pick now, finishes higher? Without looking at the schedule, just based on how they've been playing lately, who has a better chance to finish higher at the end of the split? CLG. Over Trifecta? I mean, Trifecta is Trashfecta, dude. No, they're playing so much better. I'm very excited to have this debate with you. I will be quite serious. <laughs> <laughs> I will be, I will be I, quite serious. I, yeah, here's the thing one more time. Uh, Jameson's literally the best. I just, um, I, I feel like this Trifecta team is just not any good. They, they lost all their mojo. Uh, fans are, are calling out Zatman left and right, and fans are almost never correct, but I think they kind of have something <laughs> going for them this to time. To be fair, it's not the fans' job to be right. Sure. <laughs> I mean, Sam good for, for them. Sam for the Sucker's not doing it for me. I'm just not into it. I'm just not. Sure. I'm just not about this uh, trifecta team. And and because he commented on it, I have to. I have to meme shook. <laughs> Have He's, you ever done that before? He sucks. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever memed it before? <laughs> this is Never before. Never it before. looked like I was one off. Trifecta have one more loss than CLG, but they're very, very close right now. Um, and we'll end up seeing how they how they end up working out because they have one less I just, game played in the team or at this point still. 
So, you're, so you're, you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna defend trifecta here if you'll allow me. Yes, just tell me I'm wrong very quickly. I still give CLG the benefit of the doubt. Uh, we've, I've been giving CLG the benefit of the doubt for however long season five is. Same. Yes, and I am. Um, tell me I'm wrong. And they're, yes, you are very. Their rope is out. By T the way, they have to now yeah, show up. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Okay. <laughs> now, 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 now. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I no longer, I right. no longer extend that to them. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And 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 I. I I don't know how many times CLG have played, but X number of times, how many times I've said they have a ton of talent, and yeah. why are they not exactly. winning? So yeah. I, I, I feel tired of saying it at this point, but I still feel like Sam has still got some way to, ways to go. There have been some moments where Sam is jiving perfectly, hitting his shots in rhythm, and then there have been moments where Sam will Thor dunk hit nobody, wall hit nobody. I've seen him wall off teammates to their death. There's definitely still some work to be done for Sam, but I think this trifecta roster is coming into their own a little bit. I honestly do think they're finding a rhythm. They don't need Sam to be mask. They just need Sam to be a okay jungler. And so I think who's going to be okay. mask? They don't need one. He's an okay jungler. They got Scary D, Hercules, and all over people. You're a big Scary D fan. Don't make that face on me. You're Did a... you watch the last Scary D Hercules game? He was good. He was the only part of that thing that was working. So in fact, we're getting shit on. Can I say that on our show? I, I, uh, <laughs> it, I'll ask James. Have I, you I, listened I, to me? Can I say that on the show? <laughs> they were getting shit on. They were getting shit on. I trust them a little bit more. That shows just how little I trust CLG because I've been buying CLG stock now for two and a half splits and I'm tired of getting burned. I feel That's where I am. I mean, me too. <laughs> They're so good. Snoopy's still good, right? Yeah. He used to be the best hunter. We used to say that. Snoopy is... TSM were good. Snoopy is fantastic. Jigs is fantastic. Yes. I hate to admit it, but Herwin's fantastic. Homie Effie is fantastic. Yes. Final K is fantastic. Top three solo laner in NA. I, I still don't know what I the don't fuck. get it. I need Sherlock Holmes in here. I need someone to deduce like, what's going on with the team. Here's a question, though. Yeah. Benedict Cumberbatch or Robert Downey Jr.? I, and you know this about me, I'm a huge RDJ fan. Yes, you are. And I very you much say like... RDJ, so the, I know. <laughs> I only said it because you said it. I, I never just, said RDJ. You literally just did. I said Robert Downey Jr. Did he not say, Jameson, roll the tape back? <laughs> Jameson's giving me a we can't do that look. <laughs> <laughs> Easy way we can't do that look. All right, so whoever whoever said it first is irrelevant. He's the best. Robert Downey is the best. I prefer his Sherlock Holmes. I liked it a lot. Yeah, yes. I just don't like Benedict Cumberbatch. I didn't know that about you. Yeah, no, I I uh, I, uh, I really tried to like Sherlock, and I just didn't. no. Mill said you were right. You said the full name, and I said R D J. Yeah, get wrecked. Where's Hindu man? To I be fair, Mill's been Benedict wrong about almost everything all day. So how much stock can we put in that? No, Mill. Uh, I'm not saying that he's a bad person. Did he, did Good he people are wrong all the time. I'm never wrong. <laughs> You're not a good person. That's very fair. <laughs> I don't even think you would you would bill yourself that way. No, I, I would not. Yeah. Oh, actually, Will Ferrell was a was a real was a real comment from Jameson. Actually, yeah, I might take Will Ferrell. Oh, is that what you said? I yeah, thought you said, said we would fail. No, we, I mean you <laughs> will fail no matter what. But you said Will Ferrell. I see. Okay, I got you. RDJ was a better Sherlock. Thank you, Sinistar. I don't know this person, but thank you for having it right on that end. So, what is what does LG need to do? Uh, look towards next year. <laughs> we had the answer to that. We'd coach for them, I guess, right? I don't. I don't no, know. I, 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 <laughs> I, I, I. We. If anybody wants to coach, let's talk. <laughs> I'm open to offers. Sure, sure. But All competitive offers will be entertained. But get rid of weekends as reaping wanderer. I, I, no. I have. I don't know how this ended up happening. I'm a weekend defender. And I've never personally, particularly liked Weaken. I don't dislike him, but I, I, I don't, I don't particularly like him. <coughs> but I'm a Weaken defender. He's good. I don't think he's bad. I think he's got a cool car. I like his car. Go to the single. <laughs> cool car. Cool guy. Uh, got, got what does cool he need to do? To, to, to try and make some, you said look towards next year. There's not, they still have a shot. Even if LG wins zero more games, gets zero more towers, zero more kills, the rest of season five, they're still going to the placement stages, right? They're still going to have yeah. an opportunity to make it to worlds. I'm saying they can still work towards that even if they can't get it together in the online split. What up, Hazer? I don't really think so. Uh, I think LG is too, they need a drastic play. They yeah. need a drastic play. Something big, like blow it up maybe? <coughs> is 
So I think that it is almost hey, uh, mean to say. Talk a lot. I'll be right. No, back. I got you. I mean, get, sort your life out. You need a cup. I think that it would be almost. Well, you can still talk. You're still mic'd up, by the way. Oh, I, I, You're gonna. Oh, he muted. Okay. So I, I think. No, no. I. Th- I'm gonna cover. You want anything, bitch? No, I'll just do the podcast. Okay. I'll just do the show. I think that it would be almost mean at this point to continue to point out that Shadow Chair isn't working for, for for LG for what it's worth. I they definitely have some things they got to figure out, but I just don't know if he's if he's gonna be able to get it done for their team. So yeah, I need a. He, FDOT's walking out because of how wrong I am about RDJ. Adam Mills goes to the store and buys <laughs> wrong takes off the shelf and then brings them into the... Ch- I don't understand. Are they, are, are they cheap? Are they, or did you buy them in bulk at Costco? What, what, I just, so, so wrong. I, I, but I, I think that they got a lot of work they need to do. Kiki plays well for them sometimes, but it's still a bit streaky. They still have Clout, who I think has... Who I think when he's playing well, plays really well. He's a top hunter for sure, so they need a little bit more there. Love me. Oh, thank you, Adam Mills. They just need to, they definitely need to do something drastic. And I think they should. Like I highlighted, they still have a chance in the placement stage where they can come back around and try and make things work. That's why he's not on a better team is because he's an aggressive leader. I think, and, and let me say this. I don't think there's anything wrong with Weekend's style, personally. It may not be for still you. Still talking about Kurt Shrey? I only just now. I was talking about LG, but uh, you weren't gone that long. Guy who leaves shows while we're in the middle of them. Um, I think that him being, you know, short with you, not coddling you or whatever you want to say, or not a, you know, maybe not being your buddy, but being your teammate. I don't think there's anything wrong. I'm with not that. your buddy pal. Yeah, I'm not your pal guy. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. You know, if, if he if he want, he's into what he thinks will get his team to win every time. That's just how he is. Oh, I got no beef for weekend at all. I I'm with you. Got a cool car. This is where we were. Five minutes ago, by the way, we were here talking about Weekend and his cool car. All right, let's try and hit one more Plural, topic. by the way. And his cool cars? Yeah. So, so, so. Serious note, Weekend, not not an issue. I don't think it's uh, a problem. I think his play is inconsistent, but he's up, no Johnny? more inconsistent than anybody else. I think he's totally fine. Yep. I don't think he's the detriment to that team. He was on a very good team for a while. I know a key part of it exactly. That just doesn't fit with a bunch of the other teams. Sometimes it doesn't. There are people who don't like it. I think that we might have some sensitive players out there. I think that's not unfair to say. Uh, I'm, I'm sensitive, too. I'm not going to put that on their shoulders. But, I mean, yeah, maybe they don't like it. Maybe they don't like it. We'll do the, we'll, we're going to do the draft in a minute. i got one more topic I want to go over with you before we do that. We're going to do a EU, all EU drafts. We're doing at the end of the show this time. Word. All EU. We did all NA last time. I, I farmed FDOT. No, you he didn't. He stayed free. That's not It true. was easy for Finch, that as it often false. is. Uh, as I, uh, oh yeah, yeah, get back in frame, uh, as, uh, as it often is, and, and it will be again, please make sure you stick around so you can vote for us at the end about, you know, who, who did the best. It'll be Finch. Just pre-type Finch now and have it ready to hit enter later on. I actually won last time. You're, you're a buffoon. Cool. I appreciate you remembering the world differently. Do those glasses see the past differently? Is that what they do? No. More people said me than you. That's not true. Jameson. <laughs> Well, you didn't write it down. You didn't keep score, Jameson. All right, here's so here's the last thing I'll talk I to you about before, before we. You got the you first won the vote. no. You, you won got the, the first, first time. vote, but not the only. You vote. won the first time, and yes. I won last time. You got the first vote, but this, not the this only. This is false. You won. You won, I won <laughs> number two. You won number one. No, we're this. I'm serious. <laughs> We're I could, tied. I could t- okay. We're tied. All yeah, right. that helps you feel better. Allied was amazing. I love that team. Um, absolutely miss them. Uh, last thing I'll ask you all about one last time. Um, Heartseeker, Golden Blade. We're getting some new items coming in. I think starting next week. I think. Leaf mid. Watch out, Heartseeker. I think Heartseeker's gonna be getting picked up for real. I do. There's already a ton of hunters we're seeing play it. Uh, Adaraxia will not be. He only plays stuff when it is not viable. That's fair. Uh, so once Chiron's good and can build Heartseeker reliably, he, he won't be in. Nah, pass. Longer. Hard pass. I want people to buy Golden Blade. Here's what I think. I'm gonna fuck. Here's I don't. what I think. Shut the hell up. I think Golden Blade is bad. And I, agree. I still want people to pick it up. Why? I love it. I'm a scumbag. This is when I got my I this is when I got my diamond 1v1 joust and my diamond mercury was when I could do was when I could do t- throwing dagger mercury in 1v1s. That was where I got my scummiest. That was when I was really into it. So I want it back. 
I love the the splash AOE. Put Mercury over in the soul lane so he can clear. Build it first. People build like Berserker Shield. He still gets movement speed. He needs it. Tom, what is this shaking your head thing? Be on my side on this. <laughs> no. <laughs> I think it's a bad item. I think it's there to placate the audience that wants it and be like, oh, here you go, buddy. Did we not talk about Splice taking the spot from SSG? No, we did. Yeah, we definitely talked about that, Spider. They're 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 going to keep it. I said that they have like a ninety five percent chance to keep it. Right, right, right. So maybe we didn't specifically say SSG, but if Splice takes the spot from Space Station, they would then not have it. No, uh, so no, no, no. We, we we had a conversation about that. Yeah. I, I I think that Splice. I don't think it's a fluke. I think Splice is fantastic. I think that Cyclone Spin has <laughs> really exists. became Toxic. like a strong hunter. Right. Um. That 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 team is kind of scary. No, I think so. I'm excited for Splice and what they're going to be doing. Who's their mid laner, Splice? Uh, Mazel. Yeah, I think that Mazel is one of the stronger up and coming. Impossible players. to interview, apparently. Yeah, he, he, he's kind of <laughs> shy, but he's adorable. So that, it, You're trying to talk to my man for two weeks, but we'll, 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 we'll figure it He's invisible. Out. That's his problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's literally invisible. I don't think it's something to make fun of. It's just something he was born with. You can't see him. I don't know why this is funny. It's very sad. He has to I think like, it is our job now to leave the single on Tom and say nothing while he explains himself. He just, he's got to wear, like, <laughs> he, he usually wears, like, glasses and, like, wraps himself up in bandages so that you can see there's something there. Like an early 2000s movie? <laughs> he, he, he slept underneath the blanket warmer and now he's invisible. He left exactly. the power on yes, overnight. Exactly. Uh, and, and I thought you said he was born with it, though. That, I don't, I mean, I never asked somebody about their ailment, but, like, he's invisible, so. <laughs> cool, cool. Actual photograph of Moswell, yeah, by the way. That's him. That's him. That's him right there. <laughs> Literally invisible. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, let's go ahead and do the draft and start wrapping this one up here, Thomas. Uh, he is. He's just correct. He's, like, basically a cool mummy, but we don't like to really, you know, say that. Yeah, actually, that's not cool, Hazel. We don't yeah. use that word. But, but I understand you're coming from a place word. of... You're un uninitiated, so right. we say we just say uh, unable to be seen or invisible. Right, 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 right. But anything else um, is derogatory. Like differently seen, uh, yeah. something like that. Exactly. You know, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That would be how we say it. All right, so we but got our nice. But just stay away from skinless. That's a real slur. Skinless. You should be first this time. Usually I go first. I made you go first last time, didn't I? Well, you're the loser from the last one, so you choose if you go first or second. <clears throat> I'll go first. Okay. And this is all European it's a protected players. characters. Yes, only yes, only European characters that or characters players that we're doing right now for sure. this for this draft. Ban. I will ban. I will ban. Um, I gotta be smart about this ban. I will ban uh, variety. Barracuda. Oh, no, it's not gonna work this time. <laughs> you do kind of just snap. Anytime we ever do stuff like you this, I always ban like Barracuda because of the fan vote. Right. Um, pick Hazer if you want to win. Hazer, what role would you play on my team if I picked you? Odin. Um, <laughs> you would just play Odin yeah, anywhere? just Odin wherever. <laughs> kind of like Ice Ice Baby, I guess. Sure. Odin, um, he's very good on it. Ban it against him. <laughs> That's what I would do. Hmm. I'm going to ban here. Uh, I'm going to ban... You play mid for me. All right, I'll think about it, Hazer. A lot of good mid laners need you. Adapt him. Okay. I will ban... Um... I will ban Emilzi. I wasn't going to pick him anyway, dog. Why not? Who's a better support than him? Mm. Literally anywhere, actually. Actually, I don't know who's a better support Ice Ice Baby. Ice Ice, okay. I'm going to first pick Yemen and win the draft. Oh. Draft I was life. really trying to, like, you know. <laughs> uh, I'm going to go Cubo Fred. Oof, that's strong. And I'm going to go Zeros. Oof, that's, that's hard to recover from that. That is a very strong draft you have there, my good sir. Mid laners left. Wolfie. Oh, I don't need a mid laner. I have Yemen already. Um, junglers left. Adapting band, Ice Ice band, Cuba Fred band. That was my, that, that was me. my, that was me. my, this was my strategy right here. This hurts me. Band, band, pick. I have no choice but to go Twig here. Which is, I, I actually feel really smart about this. So I banned out, I think that there, I thought that there were three, like, go to junglers, right? So I banned out adapting an ice ice, leaving you to choose between Yaman and Cuba, who I think are both number one picks. Yeah, maybe so I my strategy Cuba. here, I, I, I'm actually really proud of that. I probably should have took Cuba, in all honesty. I don't know. I, I think that 
I think Yemen is not good enough, better better enough than zeros to make up for this gap. Yeah, which I think is very. Limited. This is this is why I crafted this this. Uh, I think uh, this, I think, this I think that looks face. good so far. I, I, I think really I'm going to go. Twig and Collis. Twig Collis. All right, um, I've got Quavo and I've got zeros. It's a uh, draft ball and dig. Honestly, um, <laughs> I think I have to worry about my solo lane here. Yeah, in all honesty. I would worry about that, dude. Uh, Variety's gone. I feel like I'm supposed to pick Deathwalker. You should. But I want to pick Maniac. Okay. Um, Do you actually? I feel like I'm supposed to pick Deathwalker, but for this week specifically, I'm I'm picking Maniac. Yes. Okay. Maniac. That might that might be. I think when the fans vote, they might vote against me because I chose Maniac instead of DW. That might hurt. Yeah, a little bit. I'm gonna ban. I um, should have the ban, right? Should you? Yeah, ban, 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 ban. Pick. Oh, no, you ban, you ban. Are you sure? I ban first. Right, because I get the last pick. I'm fucking late. Yeah, man. you do get last pick. You go, you go ban, ban, or ban, 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 pick. Pick, 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 pick. pick, pick. pick. Yeah, yeah uh, I ban DW. Okay. I'm going to ban... Um, You got now weak sauce. Tracks you. Okay. I will now ban. Have you saved these over the weeks? No, but I posted them, so I okay, you can get off Twitter. Actually, I did save them. I'm lying. That's how I posted them on Twitter. <laughs> I'm lying to you. I will ban here. You have Cubo, Zeros, Maniac. I will ban Emilito. He's still up, right? Yeah. I feel confident you wanted him, so I'm banning him there. All right, sure. What do you want? Um, what do you want, nerd? One, two, who's left? I'm not telling you. Arkle, I'm not telling Vote, you. I'm not telling you. Fun Ball. Somebody talk me out of picking Fun Ball, please. Don't pick, don't pick Fun Ball, what? You don't I, need help here. I love Fun Ball, man. I think Funball could do it. No. Do I pick Funball over Vote? No, you pick Arkel. I mean, I pick Arkel. It doesn't matter that I have this many dig players. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of lame, but sure. I pick Arkel. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I, I think you're right to do that. I'm going to take Vote. And uh, take Vote. And I still need my solo laner, right? Yes. And Variety gone, Deathwalker gone, Maniac sure. gone. I can pick still. Uh, who's Obey's solo laner? Uh, Azalea still. That's a sleeper pick. That's not yeah, a bad pick. I'm feeling good about that. I don't know how to spell goddamn Zelia's name. X. Yeah. 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 Okay. Who's your last person? Dardus, dude. Is Dardus still up? Fuck yeah. And I'm making him play support. I don't give a fuck what he says. <laughs> no, he said he's Hunter now. I have to he put ain't playing play no fucking support. He ain't playing no fucking Uller support. <laughs> Get the fuck out. <laughs> I've got a godlike team. No, your team's good because it's mostly Dig. <laughs> <laughs> your team is good because it's mostly well, Dig. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm really proud of my pick and man strategy. I think that I should have picked Q, though. <clears throat> but I really, really wanted Yemen and got blind. I, so that if I think if I pick Kivo here, I win the draft. So well, it's, I, I forced you It's more me Yaman. sleeping than anything else. No, because I conditioned you to pick Yaman because I'm so pro, I've been so pro Yaman this episode, and I knew we were doing the European draft. I've planned this from minute one. No, you have not. Yes, I have. All right, chat. As usual, go ahead and vote for us now on who won. Um, Adam Mills is doing a literal straw poll. I have planned this from minute one. Why is this? Why is he saying he did it for nothing? He did a literal straw poll. Hopefully there's nothing inappropriate on it, because I just clicked it up. You guys think what? Wait, can I vote in the poll for me? No. Can I vote for me? Jameson, vote for me. Jameson, don't do that. Click results. Yeah. Yeah! So close. Yeah. Get in there, no, 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 no. Get in there, chat. No, 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 no. There it is. Get no, in there, chat. No, no. Get in there, chat. Yeah, bigger gap, bigger gap, bigger gap. No. Get in there, chat. Do nah. the work. No, up here, 50-50. No. Let's just call it there. No. Good work, chat. You need to see the picks again? Here, let's pull the picks back up again. Straw All right. Well, 50-50. You can't vote. <laughs> What's, you the piece of shit. What's the URL? What's the URL? You cannot vote. <laughs> <laughs>
I, I th- so I, I I think I win, and I also get extra points for how how crafty I was. It only works because I I made the mistake of not getting Cubo. I conditioned you to make said mistake. You did not. I did. I was already on the. I didn't need to be put on the Yemen train. I was already on it. It's less about you being on the Yemen train and knowing how severely I am on the Yemen train. Finch is winning by one. Yeah, we go. No, Hazer. go back, go back, go back. No. Yeah. If you are in this chat. Get in there and vote for Finch, right? That's no, he's false. putting it up. No, hide the results, Jameson. <laughs> hide them. We can't end the show until I get more votes. Wait, no, you're winning. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm on top. No. Yes. That's it, Jameson. No, no, uh, again, I appreciate it. everybody no, for coming out to it. hang out. No, that's one not One more it. time and watching the show. No. I'm putting it up on my YouTube it's channel, false. Finch on YouTube. We'll be back next Saturday at 2 p.m. Thank you so much for coming to hang out, Jameson. Are we good? Are we good? I win. That's it. One more time for hanging out. No, you saw it. Finch won. We're leaving on the W, baby. Thanks again. Easy.